Hello everyone and welcome back to Eat Sleep Brief. In today's video we're going to be covering how to set up and calibrate your new eCoral Wi-Fi doser. A buddy of mine recently purchased this and he wanted me to help him set it up so I figured why not do a video for everyone else so we can all learn from it. Probably if you have one you can see exactly how easy this dosing pump is to get going. Aside from a very nice box, I'm a big fan of white, so I really love the box. You're going to be very nicely greeted with a well-packed overall doser, starting with the manual, power supply, a Wi-Fi reset pin, graduated cylinder for doing all your calibration, rubber feet for mounting on a shelf to make sure obviously it doesn't vibrate or slide off, thumb screws and tube holder, silicone tubing, extra nipple connectors, dosing heads, and lastly, the main doser unit. You're going to be very happy to see pretty much all your parts here laid out, but more importantly, the main body of the doser is made out of aluminum. You can really tell Ecoral didn't try to skimp out a lot. It's very nice. It is made out of aluminum. Obviously, it gives it a lot better feel than if it were made out of plastic. Now, locate your four dosing heads. It's pretty cool and pretty nice that you can actually install these in four positions. A lot of other doses you really can't mess with these, but these you actually can install them. The four positions are top right, top left, bottom right, and bottom left, obviously in each of the 45 degree angle offset. Now it's really important that you pay attention to the four locking latches around the dosing head. You want to make sure that all four of these line up and click when you're installing it. Now to remove the head, you must make sure you compress them so the dosing head are released. Choose the orientation that you are going to be wanting your heads to be in, so whether top right, top left, bottom right, or bottom left. Obviously the big determining factor is exactly how you're going to mount this, so make sure you pay attention and you mount them in the right direction. Now, when you are putting them, make sure you get a solid click when you do install them, because getting this click is going to let you know that the head is indeed nicely clipped on so you don't run into any issues down the road. Next we're going to have to pair the unit and obviously power it up so we can go ahead and set it up via the app. Now the manual does a very good job of explaining these steps, so I highly, highly recommend you guys take a moment, read through them before proceeding. Scan the code in the back of the manual. This should take you to either the Apple Store or the Google Play app, depending on what device you have. Once you're there, make sure you download and install the app. Now once that's done, make sure you create an account if this is your first time using the eCoral app. Locate your main power supply. Make sure you connect that to obviously a power socket. Next, take the opposite end of the power supply and connect it into the back of the doser. Using your manual as a reference, you're not going to want to pay attention to the Wi-Fi LED. This is a blue flashing one you're seeing here. Now this one is flashing too rapidly, so we're going to have to use the pin that was included in the package to press the reset button and wait till it flashes once every second. In the app, press the plus symbol followed by the doser icon. Follow the steps on your screen. You should be taken to your main Wi-Fi menu on your phone. Locate the doser and use pin 000 to gain access. Next, scan the code on the back of the doser, followed by naming the specific doser. Choose your home Wi-Fi and enter the password. You may get an update message like I did. If you do, proceed with update and this should bring your doser up to date. Now we need to calibrate all four heads. Calibrating them is very simple. Hit the detail for the specific hit detail for the specific dosing head you wish to calibrate, then hit the float rate tab in that specific menu. I recommend calibrating for all three different flow rates. Now you may be asking yourself why there's different flow rates. If you're dosing something that needs to be super super accurate or less than one milliliter, the lower flow rate should be the most accurate. You know, typically, generally speaking, for trace elements, I would do the lower flow rates. And for two-part dosing, I'd either do the medium or the high flow rates. When you're ready to calibrate, just simply hit calibrate. Follow each and every step on the screen. Next, on the bottom, you're going to see manual pumping. This is just pretty much to prime the line, make sure there's no more air. Once there's no more air in the line, you can go ahead and hit next. And then once that's complete, you can go ahead and hit calibrate. So once you're complete with one flow rate, again, just move on to the medium and then to the high flow rate. Again, you want to repeat this for all three of them. Not only that, but you want to do it for all four of the dosing heads. This will just ensure that if for any reason down the road you want to change your flow rate or whatever the case is, you can go ahead and do so. 
Once all that's complete, you're going to be very happy to see that obviously the menu and the app is very intuitive, really walks you through step by step. Um, and all there really is to do when you press calibrate, get the readout on the graduated uh, plastic cylinder, whatever it shows there, put it into the value and click save. It's really that simple. That concludes a full setup video on this eCoral doser. As you guys saw, it's very simple, very straightforward. I got to give it to eCoral for making the app really intuitive and really easy to use. Honestly, I probably could have set this up without even looking at the manual again because there's so many uh, detail and so much step-by-step -step given in the app itself. So I got to say, if you guys are looking for a doser that's very compact, built very well, and very easy to use, I would certainly give this eCoral a try. For you guys wondering how you can mount this on a wall, uh, what I'm going to be doing on my buddy's tank is I'm actually going to be putting Velcro on the back and just simply mounting it to the cabinet. Because uh, I know a lot of you guys may be wondering, so how in the heck do you mount this um, if, you know, really there's nothing to screw it to or there's no bracket. You know, Velcro could go a long way. Uh, they do sell some upgraded Velcro. I know at Home Depot, I forget the exact name on it, uh, but it's a lot more heavy duty. You can also go ahead and use that if you're worried, uh, you know, of it ever falling. The good news, if you do do the Velcro route, if you ever need to remove it or, you know, put it in different locations can be done so very, very easy. So guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment box below. I thank each and every one of you very much for watching. As always, happy reefing.